All right, so I have some parts that are this VV105 package, and uh, they are four leads, and um, the leads are in the middle. So you can't just set this on a PC board. You have to kind of have a hole in the PC board in order to use this thing. So I want to make a, um, a, a footprint in a KiCad for this thing. All right, I have this drawing from many circuits that tell you the preferred footprint for a device like this. And um, so this is what we need to uh, we need to put in as a footprint. So it has a uh, it has some landing pads. It has some open areas for um, surface mount solder. It has some larger copper areas for transmission lines and heat sinks and stuff. It has some thermal vias in it and everything. So we need to build one of these. So let's go take a look at doing something like that. All right, in uh, KiCad, we're going to hit the uh, footprint editor and we are going to say file uh, uh, new footprint. Okay, and We'll just say try. And you can pick whether this is going to be a through hole, a surface mount, or other. Well, it's going to be surface mount. Um, so we'll say SMD. We'll say OK. So why did you have to choose? Well, when you add a pad, that's what you're going to do. You're going to add a pad. It's going to come out as a surface mount pad. Otherwise, it would come out as a hole and, and circular pads around that and everything. So we don't want a hole. We want a pad because it's it's going to do that, right? So we can uh, we can do this. We're going we're going to have uh, something like a one. Uh, let's see here. Just we'll just I'm not going to draw this accurately. I'm just going to give you the i just give the idea. Okay. So we're going to have a, a a one two three, and that's what the uh, part's going to set on. Now you need to go in and change the the actual size of the footprint. Um, to match the drawing that we had. And uh, you would do that by double clicking the footprint. And then here uh, you could set the X pad size and the Y pad size, okay? And I'm not gonna do it here, but that's the way you would change the shape to what you would want, okay? All right, so the next thing we wanna do is we need to have a hole so this thing can sit through the PC board. And we're gonna do that by coming over here to edge cuts. We'll highlight edge cuts, then we'll hit circle, and uh, we will draw a circle in here. And now we have um, the rudimentary thing that we want, okay? And I can show you that by hitting View, 3D Viewer, okay? And so this is what it's gonna look like. There'll be these three, uh, four pads and then a hole in the middle. So that's, that's kind of what we want, okay? Now, there's a whole bunch more copper that the thing had, so we need to figure that out. Um, so again, the hole has to be a particular size. Just double click the hole and you can just change the radius to whatever you want. Again, I'm not gonna draw this one to scale. I'm just giving you the ideas. All right, so now we need to have some more copper. So we're gonna to go to the copper layer and we are going to draw a, um, we are going to draw, uh, I'll just draw one thing. I'm gonna draw a polygon, okay? I'm gonna draw a polygon. And so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw this polygon, uh, something like this. And uh, oh, let's go here, here. You get the idea, right? We're just gonna draw this polygon and uh, close that line. So now we have this piece of copper here, right? And you can say, oh, well, that's, these things aren't in the places where this one needs to come over a little bit. So, you know, you can move, you can move things around and you, and you can, you can figure out whatever, whatever you want here, right? But now you have this thing. Let's take a look at that view. Oops. Ah, I'm too quick with my mouse view 3d viewer. So now we have this extra piece of copper, but the only exposed part is our little landing pad for our surface mount part. So that's exactly the way that drawing was. This is exactly what you want to do. You want to have another one over here. These are both the grounds and then you want to have some other things over here. So anyway, you get the idea. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add those thermal vias, okay? 
Now, this is what this is what hung me up. So if you got anything from this video, maybe maybe this is the thing you were looking for. So we come over here and look for vias. When you're building a PC board and you want to stitch vias, there's a via thing. And you just grab that and you pop in all the vias and away you go. There's there's no tool. There's no via tool. And it drove me insane for a while of how do I get those in the part? Well, what you have to do is you have to add another pad, believe it or not. So we're going to add another pad, bring the pad over here, and we're going to plunk it down, and it's just going to sit there, okay? Now, we want to go to go to that pad. Remember, this we're in, in surface mount version here. But we go to that pad, we double-click the pad, and then we say, oh, no, that's not, we don't want an SMD pad. We want a through-hole pad, okay? And then and it says it has no hole. Okay, well, let's put a hole in it then. Um, let's see here. Hole shape, circular, diameter. It wanted it at 0.02. That's the diameter that was needed. And now we have a hole, but it's a rectangular thing. So now instead of rectangular, we want a circular thing. Ooh, and then the outside looks too big. So we'll say the diameter, let's say it's 0.3. Ah, there we go. Now it looks like the thing that we want. We have a hole, which is the size that we want. And then we have a little bit of extra copper around it. And then we'll say, okay, now we have it there. Well, it's pin five though. We don't have a pin five. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click it again. And we're going to say, no, it's pad two. And you can say, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. You already have a pad two. You already have a pad two. That's right. We already have a pad two. And we're going to take this and we're going to plunk it over here. And now we have two pad twos and that's okay. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to say copy. And now we're going to do paste. And now we have another one. And we're going to paste. And now we have another one. We're going to do paste. And now we have another one. So you get the idea. You can put a whole bunch in here, right? So now let's take a look at our 3D view. View. 3D. And now, look, this is what we got now. This is great. We have the pad that we want. And now we have some thermal vias. They go all the way through. And if there was something on the bottom, it would get connected to it. If there's like a copper pour on the back, whatever. But this is what we want. We have our pad. We have a, um, a thing here. Now, maybe we don't want these to have exposed copper. We want them to be covered with solder masks. So we could go back to these little guys. We could double click those. And let's see here. We can do... Let's see, this is the mask and mask, copper layers. So we don't want any masks. I'm gonna turn those off, say okay. And now when we do a view, 3D viewer, that one does not have a mask on it any longer, right? So that's that's really the kind of hole that we want. We could come and do it to these other ones as well, and or just delete these and then just start copying this hole and put them around. So that that's the that's the thermal that's the thermal hole that we want right there. Okay. So that's how the way that you put in thermal relief vias into the part. And then you would just save this away and put it in your library or whatever. All right. So let's just close this. Discard changes. Okay, um, so here's the little footprint that I put together. So this is what I'm going to be using. We could do the view, uh, 3D viewer on that on that part there. So that's what that's what mine's going to look like. It'll have these little landing pads here for the surface mount part, and uh, those are the correct sizes on that drawing. And these pads here are the correct things on that side. I did not put in the um, transmission lines yet because that might change depending on the thickness of the PC board and stuff. So this is just the ground side. So this is now my new footprint. It's got the thermal vias and we are ready to go.